When you get a new PC, it's like starting from scratch. You've got to reinstall everything. Now, I wasn't quite ready for this since I didn't expect my laptop to just give up on me. Lucky for me, I've always been a fan of the cloud where I store all my files. However, I didn't have a backup for my Firestorm settings in the cloud. Starting from scratch isn't a big deal for me as I see it as uh, a cleaning up. However, there were a few settings that I couldn't remember where to find them in Firestorm. Well, I'm not a big fan of creating tutorials. I use Firestorm daily for my second love, so I believe it's important to tailor it to your preferences. It's got a ton of settings which can be overwhelming and uh, some of the settings I was looking for I uh, had a hard time to find them again and if you're new to Second Life Firestorm is one of the third party viewers as you don't have to use the official one so don't worry I am not going to get you through every single settings in, in Firestorm because that would take hours and hours but there's just a few ones that are important or maybe a few ones that you're not too sure about them I don't know maybe you'll know all of them maybe not um, so <laughs> Let's get right through it, okay? All right, so the first one that I want to get to is the backup. <laughs> backup and restore tab. That should be the most important one. Do not back up on your PC because you'll be like me. If your PC just decide to die, you don't have a backup. So save it in the cloud or on an external hard drive, USB, whatever, but just do not save it to your PC because that is absolutely useless. Or you can save it to Google Drive, uh, OneDrive from uh, Microsoft, Dropbox, um, just the popular one that you know won't shut down one day or maybe they will, I don't know but they're pretty secure for now. Okay, then you have the your general one tab, which is pretty self-explained. I like to have my name tags off because I find that it's, I don't need to see everybody's name and I know my friend's name, so I don't see why I do have to have that. I know there is that setting show briefly which which means that the name will appear for a set of time then disappear which was a tip from Kira but it reappears as soon as you change your view so if you turn around away from that person and then you turn back the name will reappear so I found that quite annoying so I just like to turn it off. There's nothing really that I can think of in this window that would be of interest. If you don't know, sometimes you'll hear uh, in a public space uh, someone typing. That's probably because one person hasn't turned off their typing animation. I mean, usually if you've got a good AO, it has that automatically overriding it but if you're making your own AO, you may have forgotten or maybe you want us to hear that you're typing. So that's those buttons here that you can tick and untick. Okay, this one here, open conversation when an offline message has been received has to do with your second life settings if you have them set to receive your offline messages to your email. Personally, I do not like receiving note cards because a note card you have to log in to read it. When people can just message you and it goes to your email and your email you can read them at any time, anywhere. To me, it is much more manageable than having to log in. Uh, I can respond much quicker and deal with the situation accordingly. So when you log back in, if you have that tick, it will have all the 
messages that that person has sent you while you were offline without your responses, which to me is a bit useless because we have already talked about it through email. So I don't really need to have an offline message um, waiting for me with questions um, that we have already dealt with and I have in my emails. So I like to keep that on tick. On the subject of typing, this one here is the same as when um, you can see someone typing uh, a, an instant message. This one will, it's uh, it works in uh, local chat and you will see a bubble on top of the head of the avatar that will have the dot indicating that they are typing a message. I like to have that on. Graphic is a big one. I'm using the Firestorm Beta for the PBR because I love PBR. It will look a bit different. This one, it all depends on your uh, computer, how good your computer can handle graphics. So you may have uh, your performance there, the quality and speed down. Uh, draw distance as well will help. I like to have mine high because I like to see my surrounding. I mean, this this is my house. Oh, my my camera is moving a little bit too fast. I can fix that later. But I like to see this. Now, if I change the draw distance, this is boring to me is missing out on second life so that's why i always have it high but i do understand when you have a low-end computer or when i was on my mac it was difficult to to do that another thing you can do as well is set different presets with your graphics i mean obviously when you are in a shopping event you don't need to have the draw distance as high so you may remove um, ambient occlusion advanced lighting model atmospheric shaders and local light you might not have that ticked and all the shadows this if you on lower that would change as well and then you so you can save different settings the sound tab sound tab I I was surprised that I, I have a few people who just don't turn their sound on at all. Some sounds are louder. So, sound effect. The birds are overtaking, which actually is pretty quite true here in Australia. That's exactly how they sound. Uh, so for the video, I did turn them down a little. And you can do the same for the music. This is the sound, which this one is a big one because some of the sound I just do not want to hear, but I haven't had a chance to go through all of them to check. It's just a big list. I <laughs> just can't be bothered. It would be good if they had a button on tick them all. And then you can just go and tick them one by one when you this quite a few to go through depends how you like to view yourself yeah the angle I usually do play with that because I like to see my whole avatar when I, and I found it is easier to to actually walk disable camera constraint that's a big one especially if you do pictures that mean that you can just move far and far away anywhere really if you don't take that you can't do that you just stuck gosh I don't like this water on this setting all right let's go back to me Ooh, that was horrible <laughs> okay so when you do this appearance edit shape she's not moving If you do this, if you tick it, it 
see the shape there okay so when you see people doing that that means they're editing their shape so if you untick it you're just going back to a normal but nobody knows you're editing your shape click your avatar keeps your camera position yes i do like this because otherwise she's always moving when you do a picture and you you touch something you want to move an object and um, it will she, she will move out of her positions because sometimes i don't use poses this is what look at targets are those um crosshair there okay and Ziffy is actually this is my alt by the way as you can see she needs works but i don't use her enough to do anything so she's looking at my profile so that's how you know that someone is looking at your profile and that's by ticking show look at targets here if you don't want to see you just untick it if you don't want anyone to to know that uh, you're looking at them you just yeah tick those uh, auto responses is if you use your um, online status here you can have an auto respond and uh, just make something personal interface don't really do much here there's just that one show hoover tips i want to know their name i can just hoover over them and it will tell me their name and their group you can do that on furniture as well it tells you what it is so if you want to turn that off then you don't see anything anymore if you go to a club and you've got those uh, gesture that they use in local chat and sometimes they're like 40 lines they take up the whole screen it's annoying this is where you you stop that paid after five seconds actually i might do it three seconds i don't really need to see them and i only have two lines i had forgotten about this one i was at a shopping event on a cam sim and i could not pick up any demo or buy anything because my distance was limited so all you need to do is untick it and you can shop from any cam sim that simple yet it took me a while to figure it out and i had to ask kira uh, who got the answer within a few minutes one cool feature in firestorm is contact sets so you can add your group members as a contact set so tenants or i don't know what you could do potential tenants i used to have that potential tenants um it's probably more useful for businesses really or if you have like a public space you can add your whole group for example um you can set colors so that means that if you have your nearby window on you can see per color so you know that purple is your group uh, if the text is bold it means they are, they are friends and uh, if uh, they are a different color it could be your tenants and you can just select a few for example um, and um, you know do a conference i think it's a pretty cool feature it has its purpose but it's not for everybody obviously but the cool thing is you can add anyone you don't have to be friends to be added thank you for watching if you made it this far i hope it wasn't too excruciating this is not the kind of video i enjoy doing but i thought it was important to mention it because uh, sometimes we just forget to back up so just in case something happens uh, with your computer don't forget to save your settings and anything else on an external drive
If you have any tips to share, please uh, write them down in the comments below and I shall see you in my next video next week. This is Pesca Newell from Second Life Spectrum. Bye for now.